The Human Performance Pathway is a self-paced, self-taught online training course to be done while at work in your own time. The goal of the pathway is for you to learn how to manage human performance by actually doing it. Anyone can do this pathway, regardless of whether or not they have an academic background in human factors, and they can learn how relevant human performance tools and techniques can be applied within their organization. There are four levels in total, starting with the introductory module, which, as the name suggests, is an introduction to human performance. This level is for anyone and everyone. Once you complete the intro module, you can move on to level one, which is perfect for managers, supervisors, senior leaders, engineers, and anyone who has a safety management role. Then level two is really for safety and operations managers, engineers, and anyone who has a role in the topics that are covered by the pathway. The final level, level three, is for anyone who already is or is working towards becoming a human factors champion or specialist. The human performance pathway is designed so that if you complete every level, you should have the knowledge and competency required to apply to become a technical member of the Chartered Institute of Ergonomics and Human Factors. To go into more detail, the introductory module is suitable for everyone in your organization and will give you an awareness of what human performance actually means, what things can affect human performance and how human performance can be managed through design, people and processes. It can be completed in around one to two hours and is a fully interactive e-learn in which you'll learn about human performance by exploring two incidents. It covers a wide range of different topics and will teach you how these topics can contribute to incidents, as well as help you to understand and avoid these incidents. To reiterate, level one is great for anyone with a role in managing safety and will provide you with a deeper understanding of human performance and allow you to apply this knowledge in your workplace. While working through this level, you'll actually go and speak to other people in different roles and hear their insights. For example, you might go to the control room of your workplace, speak to the people operating it, and fill out a checklist with them, identifying potential areas for improvement. There are nine modules, each including some pre-reading, desktop, and practical exercises, and an end of module quiz. To receive the end of course certificate for level one, you need to pass the end of module quiz and the activity report for each of the nine modules. It should take around one day to complete each module. Level two is for those who manage human factors or have a role in any of the module subjects. This level is similar to the first. However, rather than doing all nine modules, you choose five that you'd like to begin specializing in and you learn about these topics in more depth. You'll be reviewing your company's policies and processes for managing human performance issues against good practice, including assessing equipment and tasks, talking to colleagues about their work and more. When you sign up to level two, you'll be assigned a tutor who will be available to guide you and answer your questions. To receive your end of course certificate for level two, you'll need to pass the activity report and quiz for each of the five modules that you choose, with each module taking around one week of work. Level three is for anyone expected to be a human factors manager or champion, a subject matter lead or specialist. For this level, you choose two modules to continue specializing in. And just like level two, you'll have a tutor as well. To get the final end of course certificate, you only need to pass the activity report for the two modules you choose. There are no end of module quizzes for level three, and the estimate is that it takes approximately one to three weeks to complete each module. 